We welcome you inside State Farm Arena in Hotlanta, Atlanta, Georgia for Friday Night Smackdown. And we are getting right down to the action of what is going to be a busy night of action here in Atlanta. Coming up in moments, kicking things off, a four corners tag team matchup. Elimination style tornado rules apply to determine the number one contenders for the WWE tag team titles. A town down under, Imperium, Axiom and Nathan Frazier, and of course, making their way to the squared circle, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. The winners of this matchup will move on live next Friday night in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the Great American Bash edition of SmackDown to take on Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio of the Latino World Order for the WWE Tag Team Titles. Certainly a high profile matchup with huge stakes regarding next week on SmackDown. But as we await the participants, six men have entered and still the former WWE Tag Team Champions to approach ringside. Grayson Waller and Austin Theory losing their gold back at Super SmackDown in Mexico City. Tonight could get them back on the right track to retaining that gold once and for all next week. Tonight is a homecoming for the 2024 King of the Ring winner. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes challenged to this King of the Ring first round rematch by the Cruiserweight Champion JD McDonough. Cody back in Atlanta tonight in your main event. Plus on the horizons, Money in the Bank qualifiers continuing on here on Friday Night Smackdown as Alpha Academy's Chad Gable set to go one on one with Trick Williams who will join Raw's Sami Zayn on Saturday night, July 13th, plus from the women's side of the field, the genius of the sky, EO Sky, one-on-one -on -one with the Latino World Order, Selena Vega, who will join Raw's Tiffany Stratton at SmackDown's Shayna Baszler. So much action to come here in Atlanta, but here comes another hometown superstar. I don't care if we're in Atlanta, if we're across the pond where we'll be for Money in the Bank. I don't know if anybody likes Austin Theory. I wonder if they like him over in Philadelphia, where we're going to be next week, live July the 5th, the Great American Bash edition of SmackDown. It'll be streaming at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is going to be a loaded night of action next week, featuring the United States Championship matchup between Ricochet and Carmelo Hayes, the return of the SummerSlam host, the great one, The Rock, and of course, the WWE Tag Team titles will be on the line. Whether you like Austin Theory and Grayson Waller or not, nobody can deny the results that they have produced throughout 2024. Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners on SmackDown held those WWE Tag Team Championships for just over three months. Now looking to start down the path to reclaiming them against the team that dethroned them just several weeks ago. What well, is anybody's ball game? This is sure going to be a chaotic matchup to kick things off here on SmackDown. Four quarters decide. Elimination style, as we mentioned, tornado rules apply. We have the Street Profits. We have Imperium. We have Axiom and Nathan Frazier. And of course, A Town down under. Pinfall or submission, the only way to gain an elimination in this matchup. There's going to be casualties left and right until we have either an entire team or at least one man left standing from a respective team. This will determine our number one contenders for the Latino World Order next week. I'll tell you, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar, long and hard fought journey to winning those tag team titles several weeks ago in Mexico City. There's a target on your back as the champion. The SmackDown Tag Team Division has been heating up over the last few months. All these teams looking to gain their opportunity as there is bodies being dropped on all four corners of the ring. Of course, we are on the road to Money in the Bank, ladies and gentlemen, streaming live Saturday night, July the 13th. It's gonna be one epic night of action across the pond in the United Kingdom. Of course, for Monday Night Raw, the WWE Championship will be on the line as the prize fighter Kevin Owens defends against the Second City Saint, CM Punk. 
And as we found out last week, the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, outlasting the gauntlet matchup, which we'll take a closer look at later tonight. He will meet the Ring General Gunther for the World Heavyweight title at Money in the Bank. Do your best to keep up with the action, folks. There is action inside the ring and outside of it. Again, pinfall or submission, the only way we're going to see an elimination in this contest. The entire team needs to be eliminated. One fall to one member of a team. Not discount that team. Well, certainly discounts the team. It doesn't completely eliminate them from the contest. And I wonder if Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar have any preference who they would rather battle inside of the ring. Of course, very familiar with Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. Nathan Fraser and Axiom really started as a tag team with a big-time victory over Mysterio and Santos Escobar a couple of months ago here on SmackDown. Maybe the Latino World Order wants to run it back with those two spark, spark plugs, excuse me. And you got the Street Profits and Imperium who paths have crossed over the several last few weeks. Ludwig Kaiser runs a one-on-one -on -one victory over Montez Ford. Of course, both of their teams were in respective corners back at King of the Ring in that World Heavyweight Championship matchup between Duther and the almighty Bobby Lashley. Nonetheless, the Street Profits and Imperium, their paths cross yet again. All the while, Nathan Frazier and Axiom, and A-Town down under, look for the same opportunity. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller won those tag team championships. Originally back at WrestleMania, retained them over the likes of Alpha Academy. Even Axiom and Nathan Frazier at one point defeated Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar in Mexico City just a few weeks ago were their kryptonite. you got to believe that has been weighing on the mind of A-Town Down Under. They're going to get back there. Goal does Austin Theory right here in the ATL dropping Nathan Frazier with an A-Town Down. Lucky for Frazier, so much action in this matchup, but he hasn't seen too much of it. Meanwhile, I got Angelo Dawkins trying to take out Ludwig Kaiser here. Giovanni Vinci taking down Theory. Bodies flying left and right. It's so hard to gain sustained momentum in a chaotic matchup like this. Once you take down a participant, you gotta have eyes in the back of your head, which is easier said than done. Meanwhile, Montez four from the on Giovanni Vinci. There you go. Vinci eliminated, and if Imperium's going to win this matchup, it all is on the shoulders of Ludwig Kaiser, who still remains momentarily. I'll tell you, it's got to feel good for Montez Ford, of all people. As we mentioned, coming up short in that singles contest to Ludwig Kaiser just a few weeks ago, Giovanni Vinci and Gunther certainly had a lot to do with that with some outside interference. Meanwhile, A-Town down under trying their best to rule the ring. Alas, no casualties by their hands just yet. I'm sure it'd feel good for Austin Theory to get back in action for the first time since losing the tag team titles right here in his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. Only to come out on the other end and become the number one contenders for those respective gold. Well, Nathan Frazier swinging a steel chair at ringside. Technically all legal, no count outs, no disqualifications. Do what you gotta do to try to get the upper hand in this kind of chaotic match. Montez Ford looking for elimination over the Aussie icon here. Grayson Waller still into it. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be live next week Independence Week here in the United States. A special Great American Bash edition of Friday Night SmackDown. WWE Tag Team titles will be on the line. The winners of this matchup will meet Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar for the gold live at 5 p.m. Eastern time next week. Also sign the highly anticipated second meeting between Carmelo Hayes and Ricochet for the United States Championship. Of course, as we found out on social media 48 hours ago, the great one, The Rock, the official host for SummerSlam on Saturday night, August 17th in Detroit, Michigan. The great one gonna be making a pit stop here at SmackDown live next week. And so much more action to be on hand when we get to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia next Friday night. It's all on the road to Money in the Bank Saturday night, July the 13th, as Montez Ford looks for an elimination here. 
So far, Giovanni Vinci, the only man forced to hit the showers. Montez Ford and Grayson Waller have really been ruling the ring with one another over the last few minutes as there's just bodies throwing fisticuffs at ringside. Ford and Waller came very close from eliminating each other on a couple of occasions. My goodness, if you caught what just happened at ringside, Axiom dropping Ludwig Kaiser on the back of his dome. No love lost between Imperium, Axiom, and Frazier. Several of contests, not only in tag team action, but in singles as well, dating back to the month of April and May. Meanwhile, Grayson Waller, I believe, in the ring with Nathan Frazier. There you go. Another casualty in this match is Montez Ford rolling up Grayson Waller, looking for elimination here. Oh, and he almost got him. Oh, there's Waller, trying to get one over Ford. Not just yet. The only two full teams left in this matchup would be the Street Profits as well as A-Town down under. Ludwig Kaiser and Axiom fighting for their teams alone. I gotta tell you, whoever wins this matchup may not be heading in to the Great American Bash live next Friday night at 100%. Not that that is anything new. Truly never at 100% in this industry. It is going to be a tall task for the number one contenders. A-Town down under and the Street Profits are getting down in the middle of the squared circle here in the ATL. Look, Big Kaiser back of the ring. Montez Ford, I'm sure, would love to stick it to Kaiser after Kaiser did the same to him last week. Meanwhile, Angelo Dawkins getting rid of Grayson Waller. Ford taking things to the air on Ludwig Kaiser. And that leaves the Street Profits as the only duo left. Axiom, Fury, Kaiser all fighting alone. Meanwhile, Ford's headed to the top. Going from the heavens! Got him! Ludwig Kaiser eliminated. That has got to feel good for Montez Ford. Imperium's opportunity to challenge for the tag team titles going up in smoke. Austin Theory, the hometown superstar. Not that this ATL crowd is really fond of the man from their home field of Atlanta. But Austin Theory still in here for A-Town down under. Axiom still in here for himself and Nathan Frazier. Angelo Dawkins taking out some casualties at ringside. Axiom back inside the ring. Montez Ford on his tail. The Street Profits obviously realizing they have the advantage at the current moment. Dawkins sending Theory back into the ring as Ludwig Kaiser on his way out of here. Grayson Waller watching from ringside, hoping Austin Theory is going to be able to get this thing done and give themselves a chance to win back the titles they lost just a few weeks ago to the Latino World Order. Dawkins taking down Axiom. He's out. And Montez Ford almost stacking up Austin Theory with that splash. Theory got the knees up, but the story here is it is two on one. The Street Profits versus Austin Theory. A lot of times in this situation, I would say Austin Theory needs to fuel off his hometown crowd, but I think they're more in favor of the Street Profits, dare I say. Montez Ford. I don't know if he got all of it, but at least hit Theory with the boots. Grayson Waller cannot be happy about this. Austin Theory wiped out by hands of AD. The Street Profits are on their way to the Great American Bash. Chaos from bell to bell as Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins survive the field, scoring a couple settles, scoring a couple settles, settling a couple of scores along the way. The excitement is palpable as Ford and Dawkins punch their tickets. Here are your winners, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Closest to live we can be, one take around these parts. Next week on SmackDown, the Street Profits earn themselves number one contendership. They are on their way to battle the Latino World Order for the WWE Tag Team Titles next week in Philadelphia.
Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. The biggest party of the summer just got that much more electrifying. As announced this past Wednesday, The Rock, your special guest host, when we get to Detroit on August the 17th at SummerSlam. But we aren't going to have to wait long to be in the presence of the Great One, because as already announced, The Rock is coming to SmackDown next week for a special appearance. We are live in Philadelphia at the Great American Bash. The Rock is in the house next week here on the Blue Brand. Cannot wait for the Great American Bash next Friday night. Cannot wait till SummerSlam, but we are looking ahead towards Money in the Bank on July 13th. Already qualifying for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Rawls, Tiffany Stratton, and SmackDown Shayna Baszler, who tapped out Tegan Knox over on Velocity 48 hours ago on TikTok. Still four more slots to be determined. The LWO's Alina Vega looking to punch her ticket at the expense of the genius of the sky, EO Sky, who has got to be highly motivated to bounce back after her loss to Raquel several weeks ago. And from Tokyo, Japan, EO Sky! Well, you see Asuka accompanying EO just as EO did last week on SmackDown. We take a look back at the Empress of Tomorrow meant Roxanne Perez in a rematch. From several weeks back, Asuka requesting this contest, believing that the prodigy Roxanne Perez only pulled out a fluke victory over Asuka all those weeks ago. Can't say Asuka proved anybody wrong or right. In the end, Asuka with the victory over the prodigy Roxanne Perez. You gotta believe that the Empress of Tomorrow, after writing that wrong in her mind, may be looking at Raquel Rodriguez, the current women's world champion. As so many superstars look to line up for a Money in the Bank opportunity, maybe Asuka's looking to make her way to the front of the line to meet Raquel for the championship gold. All remains to be seen, but we are here in State Farm Arena, Atlanta, Georgia, and the road to Money in the Bank rolls on. A qualifying matchup, Zelina Vega, EO Sky, high stakes, high reward, we are underway. Zelina Vega high out of the gate, looking for the victory early over EO. EO's got to be highly motivated, as we mentioned tonight. An incredible contest against Raquel Rodriguez, less than two weeks ago with the King of the Ring. Unfortunately, coming up short in her pursuit of the Women's World Championship. Even through that loss, EO Sky has built some great momentum over the last month on SmackDown, including victories over Tegan Knox as well as Roxanne Perez herself. Now EO on the top rope, eyeing up the Latino World Order's first lady. EO Sky looking to punch her ticket to money in the bank with emphatic force. Massive DDT elevated as all hell. Selena Vega might be seeing stars right now, and I'm not talking about the stars on her attire. EO Sky can be so dangerous in that ring. One of those kind of participants who just has so many ways to beat you. They call her the genius of the sky, and EO loves to fly around the ring, but make no mistake about it, she can get down and dirty and physical between the ropes when she needs to. Oof! So can Selena Vega. Great neck breaker there, using the ropes to her advantage. Notice how Vega didn't rush into the offense. Let EO come to her. That was very smart for the first lady of the LWO. Both these women would love an opportunity to take down the Money in the Bank briefcase in a couple of weeks' time. As we mentioned, Tiffany Stratton from Monday Night Raw outlasted Bianca Belair this past week. And of course, Shayna Baszler tapping out Tegan Knox. And Velocity just 48 hours ago to punch her ticket to London, England. And Zelina Vega could be next in line. Not just yet, Io Sky. 
And then a popper shoulder up. A, some great offense by Zelina there. Oh, wait a minute. Got to watch your back. Io so versatile inside of that ring. Inside cradle out of nowhere. Almost stole the victory. Just as we told you, Io so many ways to beat you. She almost caught Zelina slipping. Just a matter of a moment. Now Io, big time knee by the genius of the sky. No need for her souls to leave the ground right there. Io just being physical, striking while the iron's hot. Now Io, just as Zelina did, letting the opposer come to her and Sky strikes. Some great action here on SmackDown in the ATL as Io Sky might have just put the exclamation point on this Money in the Bank qualifier. Not just yet, Zelina Vega's still alive. It's only a couple months ago as well, it's Zelina Vega was challenging for the Women's World Championship. A failed pursuit on her home soil of San Juan, Puerto Rico, but a chance to climb the ladder once again here on SmackDown could start here tonight for Vega. Not if Io Sky's got anything to say about it. Io has turned this matchup on its head and now heading to the top rope where she is extremely comfortable over the moon salt by Io. Io Sky on her way to the United Kingdom. A great effort by the first lady of the LWO, Zelina Vega. But Io Sky continuing to make waves here on SmackDown. And now adds her name to an ever growing list. Three spots from Raw, three spots from SmackDown overall. Io Sky securing one on behalf of the Blue Brand. Half the field has been revealed. Three more spots to go as the road to Money in the Bank continues to roll on. Mark your calendars, because coming your way Saturday night, July the 13th from the O2 in London, the 2024 Money in the Bank. And I want to take you back to last week here on SmackDown, a all-star field in the main event as six SmackDown superstars competed in a gauntlet matchup to determine the number one contender for the Ring General Duther's World Heavyweight title. Drew McIntyre on a tear the back half of this matchup only to be met with the man who eliminated him from the King of the Ring tournament back at Super SmackDown, the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. And I will tell you, Dragunov withstand loads of punishment from the pissed off Scottish warrior that is Drew McIntyre. But somehow, some way, the Mad Dragon finding a way to spew his fire, take down McIntyre, Dragunov outlasting the gauntlet, once again defeating the Scottish Warrior and punching his ticket for a rivalry renewal on Saturday night, July the 13th. Ilya Dragunov, the man who once ended the NXT United Kingdom Championship reign of Gunther, with Cody Rhodes looming in the distance at SummerSlam. Are the walls starting to close in on Gunther's championship reign? We find out at Money in the Bank, as it is Gunther Dragunov for the World Heavyweight Championship. So much action to look forward to in the coming weeks. It has been one exciting summer thus far, but we are set for a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup as Alpha Academy's master Chad Gable with Otis and his new pupil, Maxine Dupree, who's arriving on the scene for the first time tonight, are in his corner. And contrary to what you may see, it is not Carmelo Hayes participating for a spot in London, England. It is his side man, if you will. It is Trick Williams, who's looking to step up tonight 
And as Melo prepares for a United States title match next week, could Trick be preparing to take down the Money in the Bank briefcase? And his opponent, accompanied by Carmelo Hayes from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams! Well, as Trick Williams approaches the ring with Carmelo Hayes, we do look ahead to the Great American Bash next Friday night. Melo has been on the tail of the one and only Ricochet since he arrived on the scene back in the draft on SmackDown. Melo, of course, fell short at Battleground back in May in his attempt to win the red, white, blue, and gold. But he has been a pest on the side of Ricochet ever since. Melo finally obtaining another opportunity. Carmelo Hayes Ricochet, round two for the United States Championship is live next Friday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time at the Great American Bash. But that is then, this is now. Tonight, Mello is not in action. He is only watching over the shoulder of Trick Williams as Trick looks to punch his biggest ticket of his career. It is not going to be an easy task as he is going one-on-one -on -one with Master Chad Gable. Money in the Bank qualifying matchup is head-on here on SmackDown. As we found out on Monday Night Raw, one slot already filled. The Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. We'll be making a trip across the pond to the O2 in London, England. See one of the six superstars trying to obtain the briefcase. Chad Gable's got to be highly motivated coming into this matchup. Went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ricochet last week here on SmackDown for the United States Championship accepting the open challenge. Chad Gable coming up short in a hell of an effort. Luckily for Gable, another opportunity arises tonight. Going one-on-one -on -one with, coincidentally enough, the side man of the guy who is next up to challenge Ricochet for the United States title, that being Carmelo Hayes. Nonetheless, Trick Williams taking Gable to the outside. Meanwhile, Otis in here. Dare I say, Alpha Academy getting their hands a little bit dirty tonight. Chad Gable taking advantage. And you gotta believe that is Alpha Academy, book smart, if you will, trying to beat the Trick Melo gang to the punch. Whether it's Trick at ringside or Carmelo at ringside, both of those men always looking to get an upper hand and be an X Factor in each other's contest. Looks like Otis and even the new pupil, as we mentioned, Maxine Dupree, making her SmackDown debut tonight. In the corner of Chad Gable tonight, looking to get ahead over the Trick Melo gang. Maxine Dupree spent some time down in NXT. Chad Gable always watching the scene down there, looking to add new pupils to Alpha Academy. Well, adding somebody to the women's division here on SmackDown. Can't wait to see what Maxine Dupree brings to the table in the coming months on the blue brand, but tonight she is only a bystander. It is Chad Gable who needs to find a way to get the job done against a young, hungry, and motivated Trick Williams. Well, this is the naiveness of Trick Williams being shown right here, taking Chad Gable down instead of continuing to press on with the offense and even maybe go for a cover on Gable. Trick Williams decides to gloat to this crowd here in Atlanta, Georgia. Nonetheless, Williams still in control, does has the size and strength advantage over Gable. And we have seen Trick go for multiple rides. Suplex City on behalf of Alpha Academy's master. And Alex Trick Williams continuing to press on and just disrespecting, dare I say, Gable at ringside. Now pinned between Alpha Academy members, Otis and Maxine watching Gable get taken down momentarily. Chad Gable trying to continue to fight, sending Trick Williams back inside the ring. Three and a count of six. Trick Williams trying to knock Gable off the ropes, not just yet. Look at Chad Gable using the ropes to his advantage. Alpha Academy came in tonight with a game plan. Hell of a way to get back into this matchup. Not going to keep down Trick Williams for any sort of a three count, but certainly can shake his cobwebs momentarily. Oof. Momentarily the key word there. Williams with a high knee on Chad Gable. Trick super athletic. Inside of the ring, something that is going to continue to be a strong suit as he progresses in his career on SmackDown! My goodness, what a maneuver! And almost punching his ticket to Money in the Bank 
But if we don't know anything about Chad Gable is that he is tough as nails. And Gable is not done just yet. Another high knee by Trick. Anyway, I believe referee's back is a little bit turned. Carmelo Hayes, I don't know if he exposed the turnbuckle pad or if referee's telling him off right now. Charles Robinson's eye is not on the ball. Trick Melo gang and their usual antics might have just came back to bite him that time and actually benefited Chad Gable. Now it's Gable at a moment of R&R &R as his shoulders were technically being pinned at a big time belly to belly on Trick. I'll tell you what, Chad Gable is somebody who has always been chasing championship opportunities here on SmackDown. Whether it be for the Cruiserweight title last year, the tag team titles earlier this year, or the United States Championship as, as soon as, excuse me, as last week. Gable now sees a new opportunity in Money in the Bank. And imagine if Chad Gable could take down that briefcase in London, England. What it could mean for the in-ring veteran. But there it goes! Trick Williams off the top with another belly to belly. And Gable in a lateral press. Not just yet. And Trick Williams has been sent for a couple of amusement park rides. And Gable looking to send him for another. Down goes Trick. And once again back into the cover. Gable's got to believe this is going to be it this time. But Trick Williams still with some fight left in him. Gotta give credit where it's due. You may not like the antics of the Trick Mellow gang, but they are two hell of a talents. Trick Williams, somebody who we haven't seen too much of, especially in singles action here on SmackDown, but Trick, as we have talked about throughout this matchup, he's got some great size and strength and certainly some agility in his arsenal. Trick Williams can definitely be a player one day, and this is certainly a way to not necessarily step out of the shadows of Chad Gable, or not of Chad Gable, step out of the shadows of Carmelo Hayes. If we can get it out correctly, it's certainly an opportunity to punch his biggest tick into his career, his biggest opportunity he could ever see. Up to this point, qualifying for money in the bank. All remains to be seen, gotta get the job done between the ropes as Trick Williams now. Looking to take Chad Gable's own offense away from him. Triple German suplexes. That's going to do one of two things. Either bring this matchup to a conclusion or absolutely tick off Master Gable. And unfortunately for Trick Willie, Gable's still alive. A couple of German suplexes. But I don't think it was enough to take down one of the men who does them best. Trick once again heading to the top. There's the agility. And Gable's still into this. Man, we have got a good one here on Friday Night SmackDown. Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Who is going to make their way to Saturday night, July the 13th, live from the O2 in London, England? Who will join Monday Night Raw's Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn? Gable taking down Trick off the reversal, but does he have enough left in the tank to capitalize? Trick may not have gotten the job done just yet, but he has dished out some major offense to Master Gable. It will stomp it away in the corner. You see the pace start to slow down for Chad. That was smart by Trick Williams that time. Just get the hell out of Dodge, catching a little R&R. &R. Chad Gable slowing down the pace momentarily, but he could be looking to rev up the engines as he comes flying off the apron. It's opportunities like this where Gable needs to push himself and let adrenaline fuel him, especially after coming up short and obtaining the United States Championship last week. Gable cannot be looking to hesitate tonight. Needs to capitalize. And down goes Trick once more. Rick Williams has got the naiveness working against him here. Gable's got the veteran instincts, but will it be enough? There's Trick creating a little bit of distance. Gotta respect it. Rick Williams, former boxer. Some experience in that side of the field. Now bring it to the squared circle. Just like that, Chad Gable starting to come alive. Trick Williams taking the rug out from underneath of him. 
Williams is getting down and dirty here. And it is at the expense of one of SmackDown's most talented superstars. Trick into the ropes. Down goes Gable. Swinging neck breaker with loads of enthusiasm. And that is going to do it. Trick Williams capitalizes on the biggest opportunity of his young career. Here is your winner, Trick Williams. Well, Carmelo Hayes is going to get his opportunity to become the United States champion next week on SmackDown. But as for Trick Williams, what a night it could be in the O2 in London, England in just a couple of weeks as he joins the Money in the Bank field alongside the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. Four spots left to go. Trick Williams qualifies for Money in the Bank. It is the Great American Bash edition of SmackDown next week where the one and only Ricochet defends the United States Championship for the second time against Carmelo Hayes. Will Melo prove to be him or will Ricochet go back to pack in retention of his gold? And the WWE Tag Team Championship set to be defended as well. The Street Profits booking their tickets to Philadelphia at the top of the hour. New number one contenders as they challenge the Latino World Order. And who will be next to join the men's Money in the Bank field? We find out next Friday night as Alitalo Andrade meets the almighty Bobby Lashley in what should be a stellar Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. And as we know, the host to the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, makes a pit stop in Philadelphia next Friday night. The great one, The Rock, returns to the show he named all those years ago. What will The Rock have in store during this special appearance? We find out live at 5 p.m. Eastern time next week in Philadelphia at SmackDown's Great American Bash. But it is main event time from the State Farm Arena here in Atlanta, Georgia. A challenge thrown out by the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 180 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. J.D. McDonough throwing down the gauntlet to Cody Rhodes tonight. Cody Rhodes ultimately winning the King of the Ring tournament, but that is a journey that started with a first round victory over that man, the cruiserweight champion of the world, J.D. McDonough. Obviously that loss has not sat in well with McDonough. J.D. was hoping that was gonna be a monumentous victory that catapulted him to superstardom here on SmackDown. Unfortunately, J.D., that was not to be. McDonough obviously sat back and watched as Cody Rhodes went on to win the King of the Ring tournament several weeks ago. McDonough looking to right the wrong in his mind and spoil the Atlanta homecoming of the King of the Ring winner. Through J.D. McDonough, to Andrade, to Ilya Dragunov, to CM Punk, Cody Rhodes went through a hard fought journey, ultimately wearing the crown of the king and becoming the 2024 King of the Ring. And now the American Nightmare returns home to Atlanta, Georgia, to main event as one of the faces of Friday Night Smackdown. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. And remember what Cody Rhodes also earned. The winner of Gunther versus Elliot Dragunov at Money in the Bank moves on to the main event of SummerSlam, 
where Cody Rhodes will be waiting the challenge for the World Heavyweight title. Cody Rhodes obviously survived Ilya Dragunov in the semifinals back at King of the Ring to ultimately win the entire tournament. Cody is also the only man to defeat Gunther since Gunther joined SmackDown back in December of 2022. That happened last year at SummerSlam. Who is gonna fight Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam? We'll find out in just a couple of weeks, but now Cody Rhodes is back in action for the first time since New Orleans, Louisiana two weeks ago where he won the King of the Ring tournament. Running things back with the Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough, as requested by the Irish Devil. J.D. McDonough's had to come into this matchup with a plan, or as I should say, an ace up his sleeve. J.D. McDonough, obviously very dangerous, very successful here on SmackDown, hence why he is the Cruiserweight Champion today. We have seen McDonough in action since that loss to Cody Rhodes. That coming two weeks ago as he successfully defended his title in the main event against Wesley. A stellar performance on both sides of the ring. Like J.D. McDonough or not, you got to give the Devil Wears certainly do. Now McDonough trying to, as we mentioned, right the wrong in his mind. It is an uphill battle. Cody Rhodes fighting a road to redemption over the last month on SmackDown. It culminated at King of the Ring. But now the pressure is that much higher for Cody Rhodes. You don't want to see that momentum go up in smoke as we approach the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, on Saturday night, August 17th, where the American Nightmare will challenge for the World Heavyweight title. J.D. McDonough looking to play spoiler. Off the Tornado DDT, Cody Rhodes still alive. As we saw back in New Orleans two weeks ago, it is a lot to try to beat Cody Rhodes. Cody was bloody, beaten from pillar to pope by CM Punk in the finals of the tournament. And the American Nightmare still outlasting one of the best in the world from Monday Night Raw. Now JD McDonough looking to wreak the benefits of this high profile main event tonight. Taking down Cody Rhodes will certainly turn a lot of heads. Especially here in Cody's hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. A homecoming for the King of the Ring winner tonight. Cody Rhodes looking to be successful. The Irish Devil looking to have the ace up his sleeve to upset not only Cody, but this entire audience. J.D. McDonough on the outside, but Cody Rhodes in hot pursuit of the Cruiserweight Champion. Be careful what you wish for. Cody Rhodes never wanted to back down from a fight, and J.D. McDonough is finding that out firsthand. Cody going for a high elevation knee, it looked like that time. Meanwhile, McDonough stopping him dead in his tracks. Big time double underhook powerbomb into the cover. Cody Rhodes still in this match. J.D. McDonough, just a vicious side about this man. And oh, Cody Rhodes, that was a stiff shot right there, and I think McDonough's feeling the effects. J.D. might be regretting challenging a very motivated and top of his game Cody Rhodes to a fight tonight in Atlanta. McDonough's blowing off this contest and oh wait a minute here, the big strong boy Tyler Bate is guarding the way. And Cody Rhodes sending J.D. McDonough back into the ring. J.D. regretting his decision to challenge the American Nightmare to a main event contest tonight trying to flee from the arena. However, Tyler Bate, somebody who has crossed paths with J.D. McDonough over the last couple of months, not allowing the Irish Devil to escape his fate. J.D. McDonough thrown back into the line of fire and now the King of the Ring winner with a pedigree to that abnormally sized skull of the Cruiserweight Champion. Careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. And Tyler Bate coming out here. That's a somebody's JD McDonough is certainly pissed off on his way to becoming Cruiserweight Champion a couple of months ago. Tyler Bate obviously hasn't forgotten. And JD isn't going to forget about this fight with Cody for a long time. Well, it ain't over till it's over. Cody Rhodes in firm control right now. Can't count out JD McDonough. 
They don't call him the Irish Devil for nothing. J.D. known to always have something up his sleeve. Certainly an ace, always a plan. Remember, he was the man who dethroned Ilya Dragunov in that last man standing a couple of months ago for the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, J.D. McDonough trying to get back into this contest, sending Cody back literally up against the wall right there, but the American Nightmare looking to press forward. Cody Cutter once more. J.D. McDonough with his bell rung. Cody going behind and a counter by the Cruiserweight Champion. Great wherewithal that time. Going to give him some credit. we be looking for an Alabama slamming here in Atlanta. Cody go behind, crossroads! Cody into the cover. Momentum at an all-time high. Cody Rose has experienced the highs. He experienced the lows, the peaks and valleys of Friday Night SmackDown. But the King of the Ring winner continues to soar on as he looks towards August 17th at SummerSlam. Oh, wait just a second. Ilya Dragunov, who I am sure would love to run it back with Cody Rhodes. And he's going to have his chance if Dragunov can be the man to take down the Ring General Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. Coming up two weeks from tomorrow, July 13th at the O2 Arena in London at Money in the Bank. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Vinci, Kaiser, Imperium attacking the two men who have their eyes on Guther's world title. We said it earlier tonight, are the walls starting to close in on Guther's world heavyweight championship reign? Imperium sending a message on behalf of Guther at the expense of the number one contender and the king of the ring winner.